Hey guys, so as most of you, uh, you probably know out there, uh, I'm a working musician, you know, I do gigs and, uh, and uh, such, and uh, pedal boards always work in progress, uh, so I've put together another, um, another version of my pedal board and I wanted to show you guys what I've got on there. Uh, I think it's really a good overall, now I've got to say, I've got it on my handmade board that I made and I'm actually ordering another uh, board as we speak, a Palmer board uh, that I'm going to be putting everything on but I've laid everything out and got it all working so I know it works okay but it looks a bit messy but uh, I want to run you through what I've got on there so let's have a little look. Cheers. So here she is. Um, I'll just show you the signal path uh, that I've got here. Uh, we come into the line six, um, that's the wireless, and then from the wireless we go into the chromatic tuner, chromatic tuner into the wah, the wah into the compressor, the compressor into the super chorus, the super chorus CH1 into the noise gate, and the noise gate I've got a send and return running my Carl Martin Plexitone and my Ibanez TS9, then out of the noise suppressor into the flashback, uh, which I've now got working and I'm very happy with. Uh, that's running a tap control down the front here. Then we go into the Hall of Fame reverb and then finally into the MXR microamp. This gives me a boost as much as I need. And I've also got a boost on the Cole Martin as well, which is fantastic. So let me give you some sounds and uh, run you through what she sounds like. Just got to get my guitar up, make sure I don't tread on any cables. Uh, get a pick. Oh, I guess I better turn my amp on. Actually, that would that would be that would be a good thing. Actually, now this is me totally in cable land. Right. So I'm not going to be running wireless right now. I'm going to go straight into the chromatic tuner. So, that's my clean sound, running into my Marshall anniversary. So, uh, so as I said, you've got a chromatic tuner here. I'm probably a bit, a bit out because the lights are on. But out of that, we go into the wah wah. Into the compressor. And it's very light, but just gives me that. Nice little compression. Nice super chorus. Now, noise suppressor. Uh, why have I got that on? Because I've got so, I've got three stages of gain here. Um, I've got my TS9, which you can already hear is a bit noisy. But if I put my Carl Martin on the crunch channel, you can hear they're all rather noisy. So I've got the TS9 on. Immediately, I've stopped that. And even on that setting, it's quiet. So I've got three stages of gain going on here, and that's how quiet it is. So I'm quite quite pleased with the uh, the noise suppressor. Then I've got my delay, my new flashback, which if you look at my channel, you'll know I had a few issues with with the tap tempo, but I got it sorted now. If you ever buy this uh, TC Electronics flashback, you've got to get the MXR tap for it, and then you've got to change the. Um, there are some. Um, there are some dials within the, the MXR and you've got to get it in a sort of um, uh, an unhappy face uh, thing. Uh, you can go on the internet and go and search all that stuff, you know, it's a... Uh, but... Then 
then we've got the Hall of Fame. And I've just got it on a plate setting. And you've got the MXR. And I've also got a boost on here as well. So you can imagine, this is, I think with this pedal board, I know Christian, my friend, will, um, because we're going to be doing some Van Halen, he'll be saying, why haven't I got an MXR Phase 90? If I get a bigger board, um, I will uh, put this power strip on the underneath and I'll probably put the MXR there. But I've run out of power, so that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, so that's my, that's my new board, guys. Hope you like it. And uh, you got any questions, let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.